According to data previously released by UCS Satellite Database, as of May 2022, the total number of satellites in orbit around the world has reached 5,465. Among them, the United States has the largest proportion, and its total number of satellites accounts for about 63% of the total number of satellites in orbit. In fact, satellites are sometimes like cameras, so it is often very easy for the United States, which has so many satellites, to spy on the ground in other countries. For example, in 2014, the American satellite Landsat 8 made a major discovery. The satellite photographed the Desert Eye in Inner Mongolia, China. As we can see from this picture, on the Bad Ein Desert, there are many pits densely appearing on the satellite map, which makes people get goosebumps. NASA named these pits the eyes of the desert. Do you also feel a little creepy when you see such photos? So, what exactly is Eye of the Desert? How did it form? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. 1. What exactly is the Eye of the Desert? Speaking of the Eye of the Desert, the first thing most people think of is the one in the Sahara Desert. After all, when overlooking this area from above, it really looks like an eyeball. However, many people have never heard of similar things in China's Inner Mongolia region. So, what exactly did the American satellite discover? Well, let us first get to know what happened. The satellite that discovered the eye of the Inner Mongolia Desert is Landsat 8. Launched by the United States in 2013, the satellite carries an operational land image and a thermal infrared sensor camera. In the second year of its successful launch, it flew over the Bad Ein Desert in Inner Mongolia, China, and then took a photo. This photo shocked NASA, because there are many large and small holes in the desert, just like the composition of the compound eyes of insects. Because of this, they call it the eye of the desert. Speaking of this, some residents living in Inner Mongolia or those who have traveled there may realize what the U.S. satellites have captured. It is the lake group in the Bad Ein Desert. The Bad Ein Desert is the second largest desert in China and the third largest desert in the world, with a total area of about 49,200 square kilometers. Here is the highest sand peak in the world, with a height of more than 450 meters, which is higher than the Empire State Building in the United States. It is dry and rainless all year round, and the annual precipitation is less than 40 millimeters, but there are more than 100 lakes distributed over the desert. There may be lakes in the desert, but the number is definitely not that many. Few deserts have more than 100 lakes like the Bad Ein Desert. Scientists have different opinions about their origin. So, since there are more than 100 lakes in the Bad Ein Desert, why are there so few oases in it? For this reason, scientists tested the water in the eye of the desert and found that it contained very serious calcium. That is to say, if people drink the water of these lakes, they are likely to suffer from serious kidney stones. In addition, the water is highly alkaline, and the camels passing by may not drink it. Generally speaking, if lakes in the desert where there is no grass, and most of them is not drinkable, scientists believe that such a high mineral content shows that the water did not come from the sky, and it is very likely that it carried a large amount of calcium through the formation. Because most of the calcium in nature is concentrated in rocks and exists in the form of carbonate. These minerals in the lakes are obtained when water seeps to the surface, whereas the groundwater beneath the desert does not contain these highly alkaline calcium substances. Sure enough, in the same year that NASA discovered the eye of the desert, eight springs were discovered in the Alashan Desert. The Bad Ein Desert is the main body of the Alashan Desert. These seem to indicate that the eye of the desert is formed by the penetration of groundwater into the surface soil. Scientists also believe that the water sources of these more than 100 lakes are likely to be very different. Among the more than 100 lakes, not every desert eye is extremely poisonous. Plants grow around some desert eyes, and even camels go to drink water, which shows that its water quality is up to standard. Scientists extracted the lake water from the surrounding lakes with vitality, and after testing, they found that it was an extremely high-quality mineral water, which contained strontium. The mountain spring water drunk by the locals in Bama, Guanxi, a well-known hometown of longevity, also contains strontium, 
which is considered the water of longevity. Although there is still no clear statement about the origin of the eye of the desert, it is undeniable that the groundwater in the desert has solved the water problem in the area and provided precious water resources for the subsequent governance of the desert. Judging from the currently proven data, there are 144 lakes in the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert, about 92% of which are saltwater lakes, and the number of freshwater lakes is very scarce. Most of the lakes are distributed in the southeastern part of the desert. These lakes are of different sizes and depths, dotted in the desert to form a unique landscape. In addition, because the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert is located on the Inner Mongolia Plateau and has a higher latitude, it will snow in winter, and part of the desert eye is frozen. From the satellite map, the frozen desert field is more like an eye watching people. The photos taken by NASA satellites were originally taken in October. Because part of the lake has frozen, the photos will give people a shocking feeling. Such magical sites are rare worldwide, so it's not surprising that the United States is surprised by them. In addition, it should be noted that although the lakes photographed by American satellites are blue, in fact, the colors of the lakes in the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert are quite diverse, and some of them are even red, which looks very magical. So, why are there so many lakes in the vast desert? The first is the special terrain. Lakes are basically in depressions, which are good for water collection. But the sand leaks obviously faster, how could so many lakes be formed? This is about the way to replenish the water source of the lake. Many researchers now believe that the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert has abundant groundwater resources. According to the data, when the river flowed from south to north, it passed through the basin on the western edge of the desert and leaked. Of course, some people still insist that these lakes are derived from precipitation. At present, the evidence held by all parties is still not sufficient, so the cause of the eye of the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert is still a mystery. So, can these desert eyes last for a long time, and have they been affected by external factors? Will the eye of the desert last forever? Because they are located in the hinterland of the desert and the population is relatively sparse, these lakes were less affected by human beings in the past, and the changes were all related to changes in precipitation and the like, and had little to do with human intervention. Later, due to the harsh environment, a few people also moved out of here, and the impact of human activities on the desert was even smaller. Although the local tourism industry has been vigorously developed in recent years, the local government has always paid attention to the ecology of these lakes and protected them while developing them, so as to avoid the irreversible impact of tourism on them. Because of this, the lakes in the Bad Ein-Jaren Desert are relatively safe, at least for now they will not disappear due to human intervention. However, it is not certain whether it can exist permanently, because if the natural conditions change drastically and its groundwater supply is cut off, the lake will dry up soon. Therefore, if you want to witness the magnificent landscape that is rare in this world, you have to pack your bags quickly. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.